Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Stephanie Burrows of Stephanie Speaking, LLC, and we're an inspirational business development and women's empowerment speaking training and coaching company. And I just had a thought today while watching a friend of mine's videos that I should just share a few things with you. Um, it's about getting your head back in the game. Today was my first day back to my job, which is the Director of Procurement Programs at the New Jersey Small Business Development Center. So I've been out for a oh, good week, week and a half perhaps, really more than that when I think about it now. I had the opportunity to take a trip with some friends and really we just called it running away from home. And uh, came back just for one day and then was out again for meetings and then on to taking time off. So I'm back, first day back, and you want to talk about what it takes to get your head back in the game. Oftentimes we run back to work after taking some time away to clear our mind, our spirits, and to take care of ourselves, to be gentle with ourselves. And we run back right into the fray. Well, you do need to take some time to get your head back in the game. And so I made some decisions on what I would do on my first day back and how I would do it despite all of the reports that need to be done and all the work that needs to be done. I said there's some things I'm going to do just to help me clear my head and there were some things that really needed to be done in my office like cleaning it out, clearing it up and working on a couple of projects that were very very important to get take, to get done. But to do it with a spirit of calm and peace so I began the preparation to get my head back in the game for the job the day before. And that meant prayer and meditation and for me listening to some lyrical chant. And in addition to that, just really working on my mindset. Even as I drove into the job this morning, I had to work on the mindset. I had to work on my spirit. I had to talk to myself. I had to tell myself consciously what it was I was going to think, what it was I was going to say, how I would behave, how I would act, how I would react, and where I would place my focus. Getting my head back in the game. And it's made coming back a lot more pleasant and it's allowed me to really become focused and to accomplish the things that I set out to do for the day. Now, I may not complete everything, but I feel really good about what I've been able to accomplish thus far. And I'm going to be working on that throughout the rest of this week and going forward. I'm constantly working on my mindset and my thoughts and my actions. However, I found the process that I've worked on in these past two days has been at a whole nother level. And so I feel really cool, calm, collected, and chilled out. <laughs> and I just hope the same for you. Find whatever that thing is. Find whatever the process is that will help you to get your head back in the game. But not only just to get back, but to remain in the game. This is Stephanie Burroughs, Stephanie speaking.